about uh, the timing and all this. Um, I know uh, it's been a busy morning, busy afternoon, so uh, I'm sure you have a lot of questions on what's going on. Ron, could you take us through the timeline of, I guess, this, you know, from this morning until now? Yeah, so, um, you know, last night after the game, uh, there were some discussions on what went on in baseball, what went on in basketball. And from those discussions, uh, continued this morning. Uh, I know uh, Jackie, um, you know, had some decisions to make on what he was going to do. Uh, with After discussions with him, I, I know he talked to Haim also. And uh, Jackie had decided that he was not going to play in today's game. And along with that, um, you know, a couple other discussions I had with, the, with some of the players on, on what we should do. We knew we were going to meet today and talk about it. Uh, I also talked to uh, Charlie Montoya with, with the Blue Jays to see what they were going to do because I read an article this morning on, uh, on their team they were going to meet also. So I wanted to make sure, um, you know, whatever we decided to do, um, you know, basically was okay with him and, and his crew also. So, uh, so a meeting came in here today, talked to um, most, most of the players, had the coaches talk to try to touch everybody and came up with the decision uh, that we were going to back Jackie in, uh, in his decision not to play and that the players – uh, wanted to back him also and not play uh, in today in tonight's game. Ron, was was that necessarily a vote, or was that just something everybody agreed on as you were discussing it? Yeah, well, there was a couple other opinions, um, and everybody wanted to support Jackie. It wasn't about the the uh, you know the differences in opinions weren't about whether we were supporting Jackie. Everybody wanted to do that, but whether we should play or shouldn't play. And, uh, and, and I wanted to hear from everybody. So um, I talked to mostly the veterans. I had the coaches try to, try to like I said, try to get to everybody. Um, but um, and the, the veterans, their, their decision uh, was, was to back Jackie in his decision. Uh, we know, uh, you know, we knew what happened with, with some of the other teams and the decisions that were made there uh, and thought it was uh, important as a group. Um, but, it, but we wanted it to be the player's decision, and that's why all the conversations were made, and that's what they decided. Ron, what were the conversations like, and as much as you could share, what did they entail about playing and, and not playing and some of the, the philosophies um, surrounding those uh, thoughts? Uh, right. Well, there's, uh, it was all over the board, um, you know, different uh, reasons why and why not to. Uh, Tom Goodwin, I had a long discussion with him. He has different reasons um, on some things. Um, and actually, a lot of those were about playing today and why to. Uh, but there was also uh, him knowing with Jackie and, uh, and the support we needed for him. And not just Jackie. Um, you know, we had Mookie and David here last year and, and, uh, and, the, and the rest of, you know, the black players in, in baseball, but, but really in the country, which is what it's more about. And so, um, and so with those discussions with, um, you know, with most of the veterans, uh, I just, I wanted their opinion. I wanted to know what they thought. And, and some of it's a little bit different, um, just like with the, the Latin players that we have, um, because um, everybody that comes from a different country has different things that they deal with, different issues. Racism is not one of them in the Latin countries, uh, at least what they tell me. So. Um, so I wanted to hear from them. I wanted to know what was on their mind, what they were thinking, uh, what they wanted to do. And, and they, uh, felt strongly about backing Jackie. And, and that's basically what it came down to. It wasn't like I had a vote where somebody wrote something down on paper. It was all basically discussions of what they told me, what they wanted to do. On um, the, the Cubs last night had a situation where I think Jason Hayward announced that he wasn't going to play, um, but sort of, um, you know, urged the, the, the rest of the team to play if they felt they should. Um, what, what, how, 
how close did you come to maybe having an outcome like that? Well, that was um, Jackie talked when we were in, uh, after I talked uh, to the players individually, we, we came together as a team. Uh, we've got a really big room here in this facility. And we talked to everybody as a group. Jackie spoke to everybody. Goody spoke to everybody. Uh, and then I had uh, something to say. And, uh, and Jackie said, he told them what his decision was. Uh, Jackie at that time didn't really know what, um, that, that we had talked and asked the players and what they wanted to do. And he told the guys that this is my decision. He said, I'm, I'm fine if you guys, you know, want to play. It's an individual thing and, and a decision that we all have to make. And, uh, and he said that, you know, it, I, there's no hard feelings if you guys want to go out there and play. Uh, but, that's, uh, but that's not how the group felt. The group felt uh, strongly okay. in backing Jackie and, uh, and his beliefs and the issues that are going on. And uh, so that's the decision we made in, in, that, uh, in that meeting. How powerful was that that moment of having you know, Jackie address the the group, and um, what are your thoughts, just kind of on the historical context of what's taking place here, what Mookie did, what the Bucks did, and and uh, what what you guys are doing? Uh, well, I tell you, it was emotional. So, um, you know, I I mean, I'm listening to Jackie. I've got tears in my eyes. I'm listening to Goody. I've got tears in my eyes, and. Um, it's, you know, this is, this is really an important time in our country. And what are we going to do? These guys have a platform to be able to just discuss some things that are serious issues in our country that we need to straighten out. And I think um, we know how important baseball is. We understand that. That's why we're playing. I mean, we're playing through, uh, you know, the pandemic that's going on. So we know it's all important. But we know the issues in life are more important. And listening to Goody and Jackie talk, um, it makes you know it makes a big difference in our lives, and, and it should make a difference in everybody's lives. You know, if you're a a kid and you turn on the TV tonight and you don't see that we're playing. And you ask your parents, why, why, aren't the, why aren't the Red Sox playing? I hope the parents have a serious discussion with, with their kids and tell them what's going on or explain what's going on because we need, we need to discuss these things more. We need to listen more. And that's the only way that we're going to change. So, and not just households, it's, it's businesses. If, if you own a business, and you're knowing the rest that Red Sox aren't playing. Why? You should have those discussions with your employees and, it, it, and explain the things that are going on and the things that, that, uh, that maybe you haven't talked about before because it is a touchy subject. Um, but these are things that hopefully what we do here and what has been done uh, leads to because there there needs to be a change in this great country that we live in. Um, um, you, you said that you were in touch with Charlie early in the day regarding the Blue Jays. Um, there are reports that they had that their team had voted to play, and then when notified of your intention not to. Uh, they sort of acquiesced and, and respected your wishes. Uh, did, did you get that uh, confirmation from Charlie after you had uh, decided not to? And what was that conversation like? Yeah, well, I, I talked to Charlie um, after we made our decision here. Uh, I also talked to Charlie earlier uh, before we were coming in here because I had read the article on him. Uh, him and, and his club uh, having a meeting. So I wanted to find out his thoughts on it. And then after we decided what we were doing, he said actually at that time that they were meeting. Uh, so I didn't check back in with him afterward, but he, um, they, they supported uh, whatever decision that we were going to make. And, uh, and I think that's important. I think it's important that it's not just one-sided, um, that everybody comes to an agreement. And, uh, and I'm glad and thankful that their, uh, their club 
uh, was in support of what we wanted to do. Has there been any uh, determination, Ron, on making this game up? Will that be part of the Blue Jays' visit to Boston? Anything you can share with us there? Uh, I, I really don't know any of that. So um, I haven't talked to Haim about that. I don't know if he's heard uh, from MLB on that or not. But um, but I'm not um, – yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know any anything about what we're doing there. Ron, you've been in baseball a long time and, and – been around a lot of things. What have these last 24 hours or so been like for you as somebody who's been in this game for a long time? Uh, well, besides still being emotional about it, um, I just think that, that there's some things, you know, baseball has been awesome. I mean, it's, it's um, you know, it's been great for me in my career uh, that I that I had the opportunity to to play in it and was blessed with enough ability to play in it, and then uh, and then coach and manage. And it's really it's the friendships that you make. It's the um, you know the things that I miss this year so much uh, because of the COVID and the protocols and not being able to discuss some things that I'm used to discussing with players, and really getting to know them better and their families and, and what they think. Um, but, but all this usually goes on and, and it hasn't been the same this year. And the things that we dealt with when we first had the COVID and going home and the things that we dealt with, uh, with the social in injustice and now, now kind of, you know, peaking again. Um, but it's about life and it's about, um, and, and I love baseball, but it's about more than baseball. It's about how we treat people. And, and really, I mean, I, you know, this, these are hard questions for me because um, they're deep and they're hard to answer. They mean a lot to me. Um, and I hope they mean a lot to everybody. I mean, you, you guys, you guys aren't just, you know, just in the media, you guys are, you have families, you have concerns, the same concerns as we all do. Um, and I guess, you know, I guess my question really, and you guys can answer this for me, is, is what's going on? How, how do you guys feel about what's going on? I mean, what you guys see just as much as I do and, and um, are into this, you know, not just with the players, but, but you, you watch the news and, and I'd be interested in to hear what do you, what do you guys feel about what's going on and how we can make change and you know and and are we doing any good by what we're doing here in baseball? Are we getting the message out? Are we reaching people and changing the culture of how we feel about different races and and, um, and the things that we need to improve on in this country? So. Anybody, do you guys, um, do you guys have anything on that you'd, you'd like to share about that? Ron, for what it's worth, I think this is all starting a lot of conversations in a lot of places, you know, with the, all the games being canceled. And uh, I know for me personally, it has, but I guess that's the, that's the point of it, right? It is the point of it. And that's, and it's good to hear because that's, that's what the message is. It's to start conversations. That's the only way we can change is if we have these conversations about whether it's family or friends or colleagues um, to start this, these topics. And they're tough topics. They are. But, but I think that's the only way to, get the, to have changes happen with what's going on. Ron, when you were talking to the team, uh, whether it came from Jackie or someone else, was there, were there any specific things that people said that they wanted to see happen other than starting a conversation uh, that they wanted to do to help change, whether it was helping it pe register people to vote or anything like that that they thought might make right. a difference? Um, yeah, well, I, and I hope I'm okay bringing this up, but Mitch Moreland, you know, he, he's concerned about really making a change. And, you know, it's one thing about sitting out a game and not playing the game to get people aware of this, but what do we do after that? So he recommended about this group uh, 
starting a charity and, and, and with the players, um, I know the organization, I talked to Haim a little bit about what Mitch had to say and, uh, and starting something that will make a difference and, and won't just stop with, um, you know, tomorrow when we start playing again. Uh, and I think it was a great idea. And so hopefully we can get that going. Um, but that was definitely probably the thing that was said that I thought about the most was, okay, we can make this change today and we can get people thinking and talking about this, but how do we continue it? So I think that's definitely one way we can do this. Um, other than that, there's, you know, a lot of little things that were said that, that um, you know, probably um, more personal than I guess that I, that I would like to, to, you know, to tell you guys. Was there a discussion of what the charity might do in terms of, you know, kind of how it would make the change, like working with bail funds or communities or what? Yeah, we talked about um, just, you know, the awareness of it, bringing it to light. Um, I know Jackie um, is uh, a little involved in a charity with, with the youth and, um, and, you know, and trying to get uh, the awareness there with what goes on in some communities. So, um, so I think, you know, I think as we go on, we'll talk about it more and feel, um, you know, get to feel how we think we can best help in what areas and how to go about it and how do you get people to run it and all the things that go into, um, you know, making a, a group together along with the players that can make a difference. What is the message that you hope, you know, fans take away from, from this? Because a lot of times fans look at sports as a way to try to escape um, the, the harsh realities of the, of the world, but obviously the efforts around voter mobilization and um, increasing awareness as to issues is, is, is so significant. What do you hope that they, they take away from um, what uh, you guys are doing? Yeah, well, I, I, it's like I said, I hope the discussion starts. So the, the takeaway is, you know, talk about this. Talk about this with your kids, with your family uh, members, and, and uh, maybe your business partners. And, and, uh, and I know it's important for us to play. And a lot of the comments that were made about, um, you know, and, and Tom Goodwin brought it up that, you know, kid, what if, what if the kids that – love this game and want to watch this game and they turn it on and we're not playing today. And, and he thought, you know, he thought that some of these things are important that we are playing for the kids. We're playing for the communities. We're playing for this country. And, and we know how important that is. So for us not to play a game, uh, it's got to be pretty important for us uh, with all the things that are going on. And the reason that we're, we're playing during this season um, that these issues are so important that they should be discussed in, um, in all different areas. Ron, you grew up in an, you, you played in an era that featured different representation on the field where, you know, the, where the, uh, the, popu the participation of African-American players was much higher than it is currently. How cognizant have you been? How much have you thought about the fact that Jackie is the only African-American player on the roster right now? And how much, how important was it to kind of, um, to, to kind of put yourself in his shoes, I guess, um, as, you, as you are asking some of these questions about where we're headed as a society? Right. Well, I, you know, that's the hard part of Jackie, you know, being the only black player on our team. I mean, last year, you know, with Mookie and David, who probably are more vocal than Jackie, he's a pretty quiet guy. And a, a lot's been placed on him, and, the, and that's important to all of us. It's important to these players uh, realizing that Jackie's um, is our, you know, is our lone black player on the team, and that they want to support him in any way they can. So, um, so I think just the uh, supporting in what we did today is basically telling him, Jack, that we're hearing what you're saying, we're hearing what the rest of the guys are saying, and we want to make a difference. We want to. Uh, support you in any, any way we can and, and we'll continue to do that and like I said I hope you know I hope that this doesn't stop with uh, with just one game and what we're doing and um, you know a little while ago I I listened to Doc Rivers and his uh, talk last night after their game in the NBA playoffs and it's pretty moving um, to listen to what he says what some of the issues are um, but it's, 
you know, if you guys haven't listened to that, you know, click on it and listen to it. It's, it's really powerful. Ron, I run. Right. About what time, you know, you gave us a good time. About what time did, did Jackie get in contact with you? What time did you kind of talk to Tom and, and, and the players today? Um, uh, Jackie this morning. Uh, so when he got up, so I don't know if that was uh, 12 o'clock or something like that. I know Haim was talking to him about 11 o'clock um, when we got in here. So I got in here at one thirty. talked to the staff. Uh, we had already uh, put in place what time we were going to meet as a as a team. Uh, so that was bas that was more the timing to that. Jackie came in, we talked a little bit. Uh, Goody came in, we talked some, and um, and then all the discussions probably with the players probably started around. Uh, they probably got here around two two thirty. So from that point on till about four o'clock when we met met that was. Um, that was all the discussions that were going on about this. Well, ironically, tomorrow is uh, the day that baseball is observing uh, Jackie Robinson Day delayed from April from the pandemic. Um, did, did you guys talk about doing anything special uh, pregame or anything at Fenway different or out of the ordinary as part of this? Well, we we've we talked about it, but we haven't decided on anything. And um, I don't. I was, you know, just thinking about probably a good idea. And, and I shouldn't speak for everybody, but for me, I think it's a good idea that um, that Jackie and the rest of the guys do play tomorrow. I mean, you're you're, you know, we're celebrating Jackie Robinson, and and I think it's probably important for all those guys to be out there and on the field. Um, and I realized that, um, you know, the importance of it, um, you know, is, is, you know, we talked about, and I know the question, I didn't really answer it, but we talked about what it was like when Jackie started and then what it was like when I played when there were more black athletes uh, playing and, and, you know, my teammates and, you know, whether it was, you know, Davey Lopes and Reggie Smith and Dusty Baker and, that's who I came up with, um, and it was different then. There wasn't as many Latin players in and international players in, and I know there's a, been a big group, um, you know, of, of those guys coming in and, and playing. Uh, I know when I first went over to uh, Milwaukee, um, you know, and being with Prince Fielder and, you know, Ricky Weeks, and, you know, and, and, um, and just listening to all the things that go on um, through the years and, and it is a, it's a different time. It's, you know, we're, I think we're definitely more aware of the problems now than we were when I grew up. I know you listen to some of the guys that, you know, some of the older men and stuff at, you know, 80, 90 years old. And, and, and you, t you t hear them talk about what happened when they were kids about the segregation and all, and it's changed a lot. So I, I think we're getting better, but we're still a ways off. And, um, and that's the importance of trying to, you know, keep growing as a nation. And, and the only way we're gonna keep growing as a nation is, is if we address this and, and, uh, and we make this a lot better. Okay, well, thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, thank you, Ron. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Thank you.